Yeah. Would I be the asshole if I and some people, my friend group, voice our apprehension about my friend's extremely fast marriage? <laughs> Would I be the asshole if uh, me and my friend group talk to uh, my friend about his fast marriage? Okay, there we go. Okay, the person talking is 18. <laughs> Uh, he has a friend who's female, 19, is getting married to a 27 year old. Um, they've known each other for no longer than a year and have only been dating for three months. Like dating, known each other. They haven't known each other very long, essentially. So he's saying the guy who's 27 probably didn't manipulate the friend who's 19. Um, she's not gullible, naive or submissive or whatever. Uh, she's been in an abusive relationship before and she knows what it looks like. So I'm pretty sure she would have experienced, she would be experienced enough to avoid such a situation. Um, and the dude seems to be like a stand-up guy for the little opportunity I've had to interact with him. But honestly, she's kept it a secret. I haven't talked to him very much and the whole friend group hasn't talked to this person very much. When we did find out she intended on marrying, she said she kept it on the down low because she didn't want people's opinions and she didn't want to be seen as crazy. She then said she didn't want to talk about it and did everything she could to change the subject. After giving it some thought, I came to the conclusion that there is literally no scenario where this isn't an impulsive, stupid decision, or she is being manipulated and this marriage is very one-sided. I know others are thinking what I'm thinking, and I'd like to stage a little bit of an intervention, or at least expressing what I think about it. The main reason I want to get more people on this though is twofold. Number one, I am a biased source. I've been crushing on her for literally years and she knows that. As such, I want to make it clear that I'm not doing this out of creepy jealousy, but for concern for mental and physical health. Number two, it would have a much greater impact if she's confronted by the entirety of the friend group. Some context, all people in here are all devout Christians. Oh, surprise. <laughs> that was a plot twist. <laughs> oh, with the sole exception for myself, our friend group ranges from 16 to 30. Um, she's a bit of a prodigy. She graduated college um, when she graduated high school and she's living on her own. The wedding is in a month. So would I be the asshole if I got a group of friends and confronted her? Um, no, you would be the asshole. Let me start, start from there. Okay, okay. Two, when you said she has been in abusive relationships before, so she should be mature enough to get out of this one. That logic doesn't the, really make sense. Doesn't doesn't line up. Yeah, yes. I agree with that. There's people who are, unfortunately, are habitual victims of abusive relationships. Yeah, be um, because it's comfortable. It's like, it's yeah, like, it's hard to see it when you're in, once you're in it. Yes, exactly. Um, I, I, but so, it's a comfortable environment. That's why they go from really abusive to abusive. Yeah, exactly. So, don't use that as um, an excuse not to help. Now, do I think that staging an intervention is a necessarily good idea? Um, no, because it's just going to make her feel embarrassed and defensive. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. when I turn around the corner and it's like, there's like 30 people in the room, like, you should break up with this person. Like, yeah. you, know how, you know how embarrassing that would be? You'd naturally be defensive. I think it's way more effective for you just to go one by one. Just tell all your friends to like, kind of like check it in and be like, hey, I don't think this is a really good, good idea. Yeah. So she can at least save face. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So I think, yeah. Like, I don't disagree with anything you say, but, um, the intervention, I don't think it's a good idea because she's going to get my defensive. Yeah. Like, I think you should talk to her directly, but I also think you should bring up, okay, yes, I have a crush. You could take what I say with a grain of salt. Mm -hmm. That's what I would say. I would be like, okay, I'll be 100%, okay, this is what I think. Yeah, I do. Um, obviously, it's your life. Do what you want. Um, but uh, I just, I've known you for however long, so I figured you, you want some say in what I thought. And then just end it, and then don't talk about it again. Yeah, uh, I think that, like, um yeah, you can start that because you can still tell your other friends check in on her too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that way she's like, okay, yeah, my a guy who is crushing me doesn't want to be married. But then like, if Becky says you should get it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah. This yeah. person like, they make, might make her think. Another thing, this is the theme of today. You can't make people do what you, people don't want to do. Yeah. If she wants to get married, she's going to get she's married. Get and, and married. Day, you can't do anything about like, that. Unless you hold her at like gunpoint or something. Like, yeah. don't. Yeah. Like, she's going to get married. Yeah, so like. Just hope she doesn't harm herself or other people. Yeah, that's how you can really do. Yeah, so I think that she is absolutely this. All the main characters absolutely not an asshole. I think you would be an asshole uh, to do nothing about it if you really truly feel that way. Because yeah. making a marriage is a very big commitment, and it's a very big hassle to like uncouple yourselves from that other person. Yeah. So, but also don't put the weight on yourself. Like, if she eventually gets married, she got married. I had nothing to do with you. Like, you didn't. So you say your piece, and then just just move on. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly, because the thing is, is, like, yeah, is this marriage gonna work out? No, it's not gonna work out at all. The fact that like she insulated herself from everyone else and like kept a very hush hush, yeah, like and the fact that she's like, outside. she's like, hey, we're married, we can't talk about it. what kind of yeah horseshit is that? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, like who makes a decision and be like, 
like a like a big boy you put this shit like that. I'm like, okay, hey, by the way, I'm moving here. We can't talk about it. And like you know what I mean? Like, like yeah. Oh, because like, she, she's afraid some people are gonna talk about it. Exactly. Yeah, like yeah. if you feel confident in your decision, you're like, this is my decision. I made it. Yeah. And move on. I'm confident in it. Yeah. And um, but I think it's a bigger conversation to be talking about. She's 19, right? Yeah. My 27. Yeah. And of course, yes, it's legal, but. We can. We all know the human brain does not separate. stop developing until twenty five. And it's just the maturity disparity. Like we've had this conversation so many times. Like, how much do you have in common with a dude that's like eight years older than you? Eight years, especially after adulthood, um, like for the eight from eighteen to twenty six is completely different person. Yes. Completely different people. The age gap is that big when you're that young. Of course, if somebody's like 50 and somebody's like 50 and 60, that's completely different. Because like, you're done, you're pretty much done growing by the time you're in your mid-20s. So if somebody's even 35 and somebody's with somebody 45, or somebody's 25 with somebody who's 35, to me, okay, that, that's not as weird. But 19, bro, I am so different than I was two years ago. Two years ago, I'm, I'm way different. She's going to change. So yeah. like, you don't even know who you're marrying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Growing up in, in, a, in a Christian in a Christian bubble and seeing like very old guys date very young women, it is manipulation one on one because the guy could just be like, "What we gonna do? Yeah, I pay all the bills." And it's an incredible pressure on the woman, especially to get married. Yeah. So they just like, okay, this is the option. We'll take it. Yeah, and yeah, there's a lot of the powers held by. Like what? Oh, yeah. Like what? Are they, what are they even gonna talk about? Mm. She's she's gonna be like, "Wow, uh, my first car," and he's gonna be like, "I have fifteen cars." You know what I mean? Yes. Like, and he's gonna be like, "Oh, you don't even have like." He he could be so condescending without even be intentionally condescending. Like, how would he won't be condescending? It's, it's like because he's just old. He's just older than you. Yeah. He's gonna have a beard. He's gonna be bigger in stature. He's gonna look older than you. Yeah. Um. So it's like, what? Like in the decision making, he could just like not consider you. Yeah. Like okay, yeah, we'll buy this house. We're doing this. We're going here. It's like. You're, yeah, it's not a partnership. Yeah, she, like, he's gonna be like father, with, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> she's like, hey, we're moving here. She's like, but it's like, but but but, but what? You, you're nineteen. What? Like, what do you want? What to little tights? I didn't know you were saying something. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh my! Like right now, for nineteen year olds came up to me and was like, hey, we're doing this. I'm like, huh? Who? Who? Is that a mosquito? Exactly. I don't, I'm not taking you in consideration. Like, <laughs> yes. like I'm sorry. Like, yes. I'm just not. And he, honestly, even if he didn't want to be rude about it, like that's just how it's, you, the relationship's gonna operate. This is how. And you're gonna, what's gonna happen? You're gonna get pregnant, you're gonna have a kid, um, mad young, and then by the time you're 30 or 40, like when you're mid 30s, you're gonna be having a midlife crisis and be like, this is not the life I wanted. Because you didn't even realize the life you wanted because you were 19. I'm telling you, I'm telling everyone, everyone who's young under the age of 25 right now, I did, had no idea what I wanted until relatively recently. No idea. I thought I knew what I wanted. I thought I was self-aware, but I was not at all until the last two years. And maybe in a couple of years from now, my mind will change again. But like, you don't know what you want, and there's no rush, right? There's no rush. Even if, worst case scenario, you still want to be with this person, just date them. Don't marry them. Just date them. Because I'm sorry. You, I know you're Christian. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry um, if you're um, Christian or whatever, but I'm pretty sure I'd rather smash and ask for God's forgiveness and move on than like, get married to somebody and they'll have to get a divorce. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, that, that, yeah. Ugh, I'm tired of that. That was a big rant. I don't want my chance to say about uh, old men dating some young ass women. That's weird. Hella weird. Cut. Okay.